Okay guys, now let's talk a little bit about a couple other things. One thing is, what are you going to do with this carcass? We've got to do something with it. Coyotes got to like them, don't they, Buck? They like to eat them. Think about the public when you're disposing of your carcasses and stuff. Don't just throw them out in a road ditch somewhere. Take care of, take care of other people's feelings. Uh, put them where they won't be found. Uh, bury them. We've got one guy we know there in Missouri who buries them in his garden every year and raises some of the best tomatoes around. Uh, so think about what you're doing with your carcasses. We're out here in the sunlight today, uh, a breezy day. Uh, this is not good on especially otter pelts. Is because they will singe, even though you've had it in the freezer, you know, a month. Uh, they will singe. Out here today, this otter, he's bothered me a little bit. He seems like he's getting a little worse and worse. Maybe it's the way I had to skin him there. But uh, this is important. Keep them out of the sun. Keep them out of the wind. If they're wet, the thing to do is hang them up through the eyes and set your window fan on this side of it, blowing away from it and that lets the gravity air come in and help dry it. Uh, when I see young men and young ladies around here, paper towels work pretty well. You can dry them out a little bit with paper towels. One of the things you don't want to do is everybody rubbing it, everybody rubbing it. That'll, that'll send it too, guys. You, the heat off your hands as you keep working them will send them. So be careful with that. One of the things we've noticed at our Missouri Trappers auction uh, is that we seem to have an advantage of being able to sell otter like this just as well as we have scraped and dried. Now why is that? I guess it's because we can, as buyers, we can look at it and see the singe a little better or not. Um, it's a beautiful piece of fur just the way, it, just like this. So some of the guys simply do not go to the next step. But what I'd like for you to do to freeze this otter uh, is basically curl that nose in and curl that tail into the belly and then just roll it up and put it in a bread bag. One per bag, put it in the freezer. Real important when you freeze them, fold that tail up. What we want to do is cover the flesh. We want the flesh not exposed. Bring this face in and then if you want to fold them or roll them, bread bags work great guys. Slide them right in a bread bag. Keep the flesh covered and it'll freeze you know within 24 48 hours it'll freeze in good shape and when you get it out of the freezer to start to thaw it the first thing I want you to do is call your fur buyer because he might be gone when you're thinking you're gonna sell them give him a call ahead of time before you get them out of the freezer because you don't want them laying around forever either so you don't want to devaluate your fur again call your buyer when you get it out of the freezer and it's all right with him They'll thaw in about a day, about 24 hours. Take it out of the bag first thing, out of that plastic bag, and begin to unroll it. And it'll take a while, but begin to unroll it. And then if you need to brush it any, use your brush, brush it out, take it to your buyer.